Okay, the first thing you need to do when we're silver soldering the boiler together is get plenty of flux. Take a zoom we're in. Gonna zoom in on here. Do the end with the filler first. So we've got our filler tube that goes here. Get plenty of flux around that and around the boiler end. Now the boiler ends, we've prepared them by giving them a good rub with a wire brush to get any oxides off that were there from the earlier shaping and forming processes to make sure that we've got some good surfaces that are nice and clean to contact. Now we've got to get this up to red hot before we add any silver solder to fill in those joints. Now for that we've got this gas torch here which when we squeeze the trigger so we've got to get this up to red heat now you don't want to hold the work too close to the nozzle because that part of the plate to there is cold where the unburned gases are, think of it like a Bunsen burner in science. Don't tell me so. Except a bit bigger. Now it will take, even with a big flame, quite a while to get hot. Copper's a very good conductor of heat and it's in a metal vice at the moment. which will then turn to steam and then you'll have the hot water and steam ejected from it while we're trying to cool it down. Okay, that's to make it a bit more handleable. I need to get this end in the right place. Okay, excellent, that'll be fine. Put this in. Want to get some more flux this time around this end. Now this flux is the paste. And it's designed for silver soldering. at doing this end. Same as before. The whole tube's going to have to 
warm up quite a bit first. The reason why we've got it at an angle is so that when we put the silver solder on, it wants to travel down and around. Yeah, we'll put it down and I'll let it. 